Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel. Tonight we're going to take a look at the Fort Schritt E303. What the heck is it? Uh, this is under the Mod Hub. I believe both PC con and console users have this. Uh, what it is, is this is what's called a speed rower or, um, you know, like a, a speed mower. It's going to be similar to the Crone Big M. What this unit does is it allows you to quickly mow the grass uh, and wind row it in one pass. Then you can also do some other stuff with it, which is kind of neat. Uh, this one actually has a tether and then a wind rower that come with it. However, the only thing I didn't like, there's two things I don't like. One, um, it, you got the header that does the mowing. And it comes on this carry-all trailer, and the trailer is actually part of the unit. So when you uh, attach the, the mower, and I'll show you how to do it, it'll this the wheels will just disappear, and then you have the header on. The problem is, if you have this in trailer mode, and I'll show you this. This is a bug. By the way, did you see those? I'm going to do that again. Do you see these action doors when you're out? You come up here, you get close. It close, opens the door and then closes it. That's pretty neat. And uh, so anyway, we're going to come back here and we're going to go ahead and grab the header with this. And this is what I wanted to show you. It actually will fold. And now you're skunked. <laughs> so that's a little bit of a bug right there. Um, you can fold the wheels off from the tail and it kind of screws everything up. But that aside, uh, the only other thing I don't like is that is this. Okay, so let's say, you know, I'm in my shop or at my at my repair facility and I'm going to work on a piece of equipment. And we'll take, for example, here's our, um, this guy. If I pull up to a shop and I go into the change item or change unit, I can go in here and I can change the capacity. I can add on stuff. Like, for example, like if we go to, let's say, um, the fertilizer, we buy the base one. I can extend this all the way up to have a cover. I can add a spreading disc system to it. And I can do this all within the one unit. Um, I don't have to... And I can turn it back on and off too. So here's the issue with this with this mod that I can see. Um, we have both the uh, tether here and the exact same piece of hardware for the wind rower. The only difference being that we have this little uh, side piece that puts the grass into a wind row. Um, Really what they should have done is just given you one piece that would be a tether and a wind rower, and all you do is go into the shop, like you pull up to your, your maintenance shop or the shop at the store, and you just have the option added or removed. Once you add it once, you never have to pay for it again, but you just have it added on or remove it. Instead, this unit's $12,000. We have to buy it twice, once as a tether and once as a wind rower. That's a waste. They should not have done that. They should have thought about that when they designed this to make this one piece that has a wind rower added on by adding this thing on. What? Well, whatever. I mean, it is what it is. You're going to spend $24,000 instead of $12,000. The mower itself runs about $105,000. It's available in several different colors. So if you want the old Fortschritt green, um, you can get that, or green and brown. There's also like an olive color or this blue. The blue is the default color. So I'm going to turn this unit on. You can see what it's going to do here. What we do is we're going to mow the grass. And this puts us in a nice grass windrow. So if you're making silage, and you're trying to mow grass to make silage bales, this is a really nice, quick way to do it. It's not the cheapest method. Obviously, buying you know a tractor with some mowers on it, or buying mowers for your already existing tractor may be cheaper. But because it windrows in one pass, it's an efficient way to do this. So I like this unit because you can do everything at once. It's fairly wide. It's not super wide, but it's wider than the disc bind. Um, and it windrows for you. So there's a nice windrow for you. And we're going to go down. We'll, do, we'll make one more pass because I want to show you what the other items do on the unit. Back out here. Um, now, I'm, so, I'm always surprised that we don't have these in the game by default. Because in real life, John Deere makes these. Massey Ferguson makes these. Case and New Holland both make these. So there's several big manufacturers that make speed rowers, and a lot of them are larger than this. This one's actually a very small. The Fortschritt's a very small one. They, 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 uh, th yeah, we have them here for sure. I mean, like, if you look at, oh, okay. Like one lonely farmer here in America uses them. He's got several John Deere's. He's got a, he's got also got, he did a, a New Holland one too. Um, 
Well, this is Eastern European. Fort Schritt, I believe, is either like Russian or from the Ukraine. So there we have the two rows. And I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do the next part. So if we want to TED this, we come over here and grab our next attachment. And once again, these attachments, I'm complaining about them, but they're, you know, how much is a tether? Well, it's about $10,000. So to 20. So really at, at $12,000, this tether is not that expensive. Same thing with the wind rower. You have a wind rower for the same amount of money, but you need to buy both the tether and the wind rower. I wish you could get them all in one, in one unit. That's my big beef with this mod. Is that you get it in life? Yeah, right. Yes. Yep. So in real life, you'd just buy the one and then add that attachment on for the wind rower. You wouldn't add, you wouldn't buy two different ones of these. Because it's just one little piece that you put on it to make it a wind rower. So there we go. You see here, it throws it into the center. It makes it a big mess, though. And we're just going to follow along here inside the cab. Follow our line of work. So this tractor it seems to run about 10 or 11 miles an hour when it's working. Depending on how big the tractor is. But, it, you know, once again, it's going to be like a big M, except for a lot less expensive. And a lot smaller. The big M, of course, is the most efficient because it's huge. However, the big M does not TED, so you'd have to go back and TED and Windrow after the big M anyway. So there's no difference there. But this one just does some things that the big M doesn't do. So, but yeah, this is definitely uh, Fort Schritt, I believe, is... It's Eastern European. I'm not sure if it's Czechoslovakian or if it's if it's uh, maybe Polish. I'm sure somebody in the comments will chime in and say where it's made, um, but I know it's Eastern European. Yeah, the colors and stuff, like yeah. that blue. And they make tractors and harvesters, too. They've been around for a long time. Um, in fact, we have Fort, there's Fort Schritt tractors in the Mod Hub also available. There's two small ones. Mm -hmm. So there's stage two. We have Now we've tetted this, and then we're going to go ahead and grab our wind rower and make it nice and neat so it's easy to collect. And fall off that hill right there that I made when I was playing with the landscaping mod. So once again, it's going to windrow to the left. So we're going to go ahead and grab this and make one pile. I think we may have to run up and back down again, but we might be able to do it in one pass. Let's see what we can do. Uh, somewhere in Ireland. Oh, it has to be unfolded. There you go. Yeah, so we should be able to take this and make it into one pile. All right, there we go. So we're going to run down here, and it takes it back and makes it one nice, neat pile for the for our collection wagon or our baler to collect. So it's a three-step process, but that's how the fortress works. And I think, you know, for what it is, it's a neat unit, and I think it's going to be something that you can, if you have a grass farm, already I've been using it on my Michigan map farm when I'm working with the cows. I'm using this as my mower. Uh, it takes the time off of your tractor. It's designed to do just this, so it's easy to use. Um, and it, it takes, you know, wear and tear off your tractors. And it's pretty efficient. There we go. So we have a nice row of hay right there. Now, if you were going to do just grass like silage bales, you wouldn't bother with the windrower or the, the tether. But I think that's a really neat unit. Once again, I wish they would fix it so that you could just get this one piece of equipment and then add the wind rower piece on and take it off using a shop. But, you know, that's how they did it. But still, if you add the price of a decent sized wind rower and the price of a decent sized tether, you're going to be about the same price anyway. So, um, now the mower, once again, is 15,000. So you're, you're looking at a grand total of about $150,000 for the whole kit, but that's really not that bad. Oh, and I want to show you this too. There's four light stages. So you got forwards, backwards, these top lights come on, and then there's under lighting too. I'm not sure. I think it's, it's the main lights going bright. So I don't really see where they're coming from, but they just get brighter. So 
There's the beacons. Got hazards. Everything's fully functional. It looks great. It's a good looking model. Inside it looks good. Oh, look, there we have the hazards flashing. Um, hang on, first need info. Gauges work. Turn the lights on, lights the gauges up. Yeah, so I mean, I'm I'm impressed. This is a nice mod. I think it's well done. So hope you guys enjoyed this, and now you know what the Fortress does. The 303. Have a great night. Be sure to subscribe, thumbs up, voice up, and we'll see you next time on Farm Sim 19.